guys, it's Becca here with this crazy adventure called Life. And today I'm making a video I've kind of wanted to make for a while and I just have never done it and I don't know why. So today I'm gonna to talk to you about three of our favorite carriers for hiking with babies and toddlers. As you guys may or may not know, I have twins. They just turned three. So we're actually moving out of this stage in our life where we need carriers and things like that for hiking. We still use them a little bit, but we're really working towards getting them to hike on their own. However, we did a lot of hiking over the last few years and we had things we liked about certain carriers, things we didn't like about certain carriers. So I'm gonna to talk to you about three different carriers that we have used, what we liked about them, and what we didn't. All right, so I'm gonna start with the first carrier I used, well, the first carriers I used were bring slings with my kids, and that was just around the home, and wraps. But um, the first carrier I used that was appropriate more for hiking is the Ergo Baby. Soft, it's a soft structure carrier. That means it has no frame in it. It's nice, soft, you can roll it up and ball it up and shove it in a purse or, bag. well, maybe not a purse, it's a little big for that, but a diaper bag or something and it goes on you, you can wear it front or back. So I usually, um, I prefer back if, if my child's old enough. And you just wear them and you put them in that and I will put a clip of you with a kid in it or a picture or something in here so you can see. And it helps, it has a, it hooks around your waist. It really, really helps to um, distribute the, their weight evenly and it's great, so I'm gonna talk about some things. So I love this for around town, for starters, um, because it's so easy to just keep in my vehicle. So when the twins were younger and I would go grocery shopping and they were too big for both of them to sit in the seat um, and too big for like taking in their car seat and putting it in the buggy, I started wearing one on my back and putting one in the seat of the buggy or shopping cart, whatever you wanna call it. Um, let me take this off. I have a homemade cover I've made for some of my ergos to um, give them a little more personality. <laughs> and after I made this, ergo actually for a while, I don't know if they still make it, came out with a similar type thing that you could um, purchase and hook onto your ergos. But, so let me take that off. But, so here's what I love about the ergo. I love that it can fit in my car. I love that it can be used from about birth uh, like I'd say like maybe a couple months. I would probably use it on a new newborn. I would prefer a wrap or a ring sling for that, but they have a, a infant insert for this one um, for when it is a little baby and you can wear them on your front like this, you know, and put your little baby in there when they are very little. And then as they get older, you can move them to the back. You can wear them on your side. They even have some now that you can face forward. I haven't tried those ones because I already had ones I loved uh, when those ones came out. So this one is a performance one. And some of the things I like about the performance one, which I'm not even sure if they make and sell anymore, was that it had more mesh-like material so it, I didn't get too hot in it. Um, my babies tend to be heaters. <laughs> My oldest and the twins are all just get really hot really easily. So that that was nice. I also like that um, the the this version compared to the original had a longer waist. So I am plus size obviously. <laughs> and so I liked having it where I didn't feel like, you know, is it going to fit today if I'm bloated or those types of things. Now Ergo does sell an extender and I don't think I have one on me. Um, hold on. So Ergo does sell an extender, and I don't know if it's on this one either. Oh yes, okay, so I clipped it onto this one to show you. So this is my original Ergo, the very old school ones. <laughs> um, but they do sell an extender that can add, I think it's eight to 10 inches if you need it. So what we do is there's actually about an eight inch difference between my husband's hip circumference and my hip circumference. So we each have our own ergo, but let's say for some reason I wanted to wear the one he wears, I keep a extender that is the difference between us and I just snap it in. And that way I don't have to change the settings on his for when he goes to wear it again. It just makes it a little quicker and easier for us. 
Um, some other things I love about the Ergo are, first off, the pocket. I love having a pocket. If you're going somewhere with a kid, you can throw a diaper in there and some wipes and maybe even um, a towel, uh, not a towel, a blanket you can lay out to change them on. Makes it super simple, easy, easy peasy to take. And of course, the sleeping hood is awesome. When our kids were around the, a year, year and a half, that was really nice because we hike and they'd fall asleep in the carrier and we just put the sleeping hood up and they keep putting their heads from going, blah, blah, you know, all over the place while we were hiking. So that is the Ergo. It's called a soft structure carrier. It's comparable to a Tula or um, I can't think of others that are out there, but there are others. So I've always loved Ergo. They have a lot of new ones out. Definitely check them out if you're looking for something that is soft structured, easy to take with you, and for younger kids. So this is great for infants or kids that are gonna fall asleep because of that support. What it is not great for is for people that um, maybe have sensory issues. One of our twins hated the Ergos um, because it pushed him right on our back. And we always joked because he was the twin that was squished and didn't have much space in the womb and so we feel like he just doesn't want to be touched and so he hated the ergo because it put him right on our back which is part of the reason we switched to structured carriers plus they were getting older they want to see more things structured carriers hold them higher up so i'm going to share two structured carriers that we have used with you guys um and tell you what i like and dislike about them so first up i'm going to show you our kelty it's a kelty junction 2.0 it is not a Kelty, so it's not one that has, um, it's a little different than what you're probably thinking when you think Kelty. So a lot of people when they think of Kelty, they're thinking of one like this. Um, that looks more like a hiking backpack and then has this little thing that can flip out, which I can't do one handed, and your child can sit in it. Um, it actually can, can become a seat if your child is not too wiggly. So that's what a lot of people are thinking when I think of a Kelty, but Kelty actually has other versions of packs out there, and this is the one that we have. It's a Kelty Junction 2.0. Um, there were several reasons we chose this one. One was price, because we were buying two structure carriers, so price was a huge factor. The other thing for this one, though, is it has like a full-size backpack on it, and that was important to us to have with three kids and two adults. and. Um, hiking, we wanted one backpack that was full, full size, and this gave it to us. And it's got like dividers and everything, so that is part of the reason we chose this. So, one thing I like about this is it feels very sturdy, like, and the other ones do too, the other structure carriers. But it's just it just feels really sturdy for on your back. It also, um, if you have problems with your child being higher like they could be in a Kelty or a Deuter, which I'm gonna show you in a few minutes, um, this puts them a little lower. So like, I use the, the Deuter, and I hope I'm saying that right, but my kids, they tend to lean, and it's they're high enough up that it can throw me, like if they start leaning too much or going back and forth too much, it can throw me when we're, when we're hiking. And so I like that this one is a little bit lower because it does not do that. When they sway back and forth or they throw their bodies off to one side, it doesn't throw off my the balance as much. One thing I love about structure carriers is that almost all of them have an adjustable lumbar. So depending on your height, you can adjust how high up and how low you need um, the lumbar support to be. So it's great for if um, one parent is taller than the other, that kind of thing. What I do not like about the Kelty Junction 2.0 is, I pointed out, it is different down here. This cannot stand by itself. If you, this is a toe um, or foot spot where you put your foot while you're putting your child in while they're on the ground. If you were to leave a child alone in this, it would definitely tip over. Um, it does not stay upright. The other thing is it cannot handle taller children. My children are in the, um, about the third percentile are twins for height. One's a little taller than the other, but even the short one's the third percentile. And by two years old, he could not be in this because he would, he was too tall for it to be on the ground. Like we could put him in, put him up. 
but on the ground he was very uncomfortable sitting in this um, because of that because it is very short it doesn't have that extra height that the other carriers do so um, the other things I did like about this is that it comes with a nice water bottle holder right here it is for small water bottles so that is kind of a downside you think with it being a hiking pack or whatever that it would be a good size for reusable ones but it is not it really only works with the plastic ones or ones that are close to that size um, and then it has a really nice um, pocket here that's really good size and a key clip so you can cook your keys and not worry about losing them as they're in here which is nice of course for when you're hiking and you're leaving your car there and you want to have it locked so we have one other, I have one other um, structured carrier to show you. So there's, remember the other ones were called soft structure, which was the ergo, and that means it has no frame in it. But this one is another structured carrier with a frame. It's the Deuter Comfort Air, okay? So there's a Comfort Air and a Comfort Air 2. The Comfort Air 2 has a lot more, um, like, bells and whistles to it. but not a ton like it just comes with a canopy for kids automatically this one I'd have to purchase it separately those types of things and let me try and shut this hold on so I can show you okay so this one I'm gonna put this on this is actually my pack so what I like about the um, Deuter one is so the Kelty I am plus size and I cannot wear it well I don't know, I might be able to, but it would really not be comfortable, okay, around my hips and stuff. Whereas the Comfort Air, I can wear it. Now, I think if you were like a size, a women's US size 26 or 28, you may not be able to, but um, I can wear it plenty. And you can see on this one, I like that the child is higher up for them as for them to be able to see. I don't like it so much because then when my kids like lean over, it kind of like throws off my balance a little bit. Um, but you can see it's nice and high up, so it works for taller kids, which is great. Um, the other thing I really, really like about this one, I pulled my hair there, <laughs> is that it has um, mesh sides, so it gets some airflow to them. Um, and there's also pockets. Those mesh sides are also pockets. So if you want to put something for your kids in there, like snacks that they can grab or a water bottle, there's things that you can put in their reach. Of course, that only works with older kids that can maybe put it back. Um, but we actually would take, buy those. There's things you can buy that can tether the um, sippy cups and stuff to it, and we do that. Um, other things I really like about it, it has a nice pad over the lumbar support area and again it's adjustable it is super adjustable like there is so many ways to adjust this thing um, the downside to that is you won't want to share this pack once you get it all adjusted you won't want to like we don't let our twins switch which pack they're in because this one is so hard to readjust because there's the straps for the child there's the side straps for how tight you want this side done up um, there is even where if I can find where they are um, little foot straps oh here's one for the child that they can rest their feet in tons of stuff lots of good stuff like that um, but it's so hard to adjust because there is so much to adjust that we do not let our, our twins share at all um, it also has more pockets like on the back and it does have a small backpack area. It is nowhere near as big or as organized as on the Kelty Junction 2.0, but it is nice. In fact, we have a blanket in here for changing to lay kids on to change, but it does have some good room, you can see in here. And the good thing about these ones as well is, you see they open up and then we always shut them once they're on our back. But a child could easily, you can rest this on the ground with a child in it. It is fairly sturdy as long as your child is not too tall or too heavy. Um, of course, you should always monitor them while they're in it. <laughs> you should not leave them unattended. But it is nice for like if you're stopping for a moment.
to go hiking that you can put the child down in the Kelty, or not the Kelty, the Deuter, and not have to take them out and, or keep your foot on it, those kind of things. So those are the three carriers that we utilize when we are hiking with our kids. Of course, like I said, we are in a new phase of life. This year we are working on getting our twins to hike by themselves, and that is starting with some local trails that have some hills and things like that. But we are still utilizing these things a little bit, and who knows, maybe another little baby will come along at some point that we'll utilize these again. But I did want to say when we traveled, so we just did a huge trip from Seattle to San Diego, and we did the Redwoods, and we did Seattle Pike Place Market, which was crowded. So I totally, I have a post about that on this crazy, uh, on the website, which is at loveourcrazylife.com. And with that, I totally recommend taking a carrier and of course in the Redwoods if you're doing bigger trails or if your kids just can't handle that kind of walking yet, take them. But for this trip, we actually took, well, this is the other one, but we took an Ergo because of room. We were traveling for 18 days and just space and all that kind of stuff. We took an Ergo. I used an Ergo. My husband chose to have a child on his shoulders instead. Um, we did have them hike in the Redwoods. We chose some easy hikes so that they could do that. But we, so we still use the Ergo, even though we prefer the structured carriers for hiking. We still use the Ergo because there are times that it's just better. So that is what I have for you. I will leave links down below in the description box so you can purchase any of these items that are still currently available on Amazon. They are my affiliate links, so I will earn a little bit of commission for any purchase you make through those links. But of course, you get the same great price, so don't worry, you're not being charged more. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm going to try and get a lot more videos up. I want to focus on some, you know, gear for getting outdoors with your family and reviews and those types of things. If you have not yet, be sure to subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and also make sure when you subscribe that you hit the notification bell. That will let you know anytime I post a new video. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Bye.